hello. Our piano is dearly loved. I love it, though I have to say it's not being nurtured, so to speak. It gets played every day, badly. We've had it for ooh, probably about 25 years, 26, maybe even 27 years. And it's um, it's been tuned once in that time and been moved at least twice. But I love it dearly. It has, um, that's the sound of what, what the tune is saying. It sounds a bit like a Sunday school piano and he didn't mean that in a good way. But it's had its finest hour. The um, organ scholar uh, was around for Sunday lunch and he he played it and Morley sang along to it. It was um, a thing by Purcell. Um, a lot of it goes, yes, 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 yes. And um, a lot of jokes attached to that, but I think they're probably a little bit on the adult side. And um, But it was great. As I say, it's fine as that. And bless him, he didn't moan about it's out of tune. He said, well, it's all fairly uniform, by which I think he meant uniformly bad. But that was... Wasn't that a nice way of doing it? I thought that, that was that was very kind of him. And so it was good to see the, the old Joanna having a, a good outing for at least once. Um, you know, I, at, the, at the moment we're in that bit with the 11 plus, that final month. You've no idea how brilliant it is and how stressful. I mean, I'm not sleeping. Um, but the, the children become their best selves. They're sort of like the best of being adult and the best of being children. They, they really take ownership for things. And they'll give you that look and they'll sustain it. And it's that kind of connection that you get when words would only cheapen it. Maybe it's all in my imagination, I don't know. But it's brilliant. Absolutely the best job in the world. I. It's just it's brilliant. And, uh, and then, of course, they're all going to leave me, aren't they? They'll leg it. And it's getting stressy about last year's lot starting secondary school. They'll be fine. The schools do look after them. Um, but it's, uh, no, it's just lovely that they are becoming utterly, utterly gorgeous. And you can't help but fall in love with all of them, each and every one of them. Um, it's great. I need your, I need your advice. Uh, what am I going to do about the, uh, you know, the little lessons in maths and the weekly wisdom? and the other little bundles. Um, I'd sort of taken the for sale bits off a few weeks ago and thought we'd just let it die a natural death because with YouTube and things, it's, um, I don't know that it's really necessary anymore. Or, or um, But I've had several people that have wanted to buy them and of course there aren't the connections there anymore. What should I do? What should I do? What should I do about pricing? Should I have them up? Should I? Are they useful? I don't know. Well, actually I do. I've got quite a lot of statistics on, on whether they are useful or not. And I think the statistics are that they are. Um, but, so talk to me. Tell me, organize my business for me. I, if you know about business or 11 plus or both, the fact that you're watching this, you know about the 11 plus. Tell me what you want. Tell me how I should do it. What, what, just organize me. I need organising and you're, you're the person to do it for me. Um, and if I don't like what you say, I'll ignore it. And if I do like what you say, the child's side, it will take me ages to get around to it anyway. But um, I really, really, really um, value your input, good or bad. Um, oh, I had, you know, I love, I love getting news from ex-pupils, despite the fact I wouldn't recognise them if I saw them in the street. But it, it's... You just feel great. I had a, a card from a girl that's in Vietnam at the moment. She's teaching out in Hong Kong. And um, isn't that great? Isn't that brilliant? She wants to go and teach um, children in poorer parts of the world. I think she probably will at some point. I think it's also those that are going to be leaders in the world need to be taught. And it's that sort of teaching manners because a lot of these children are quite indulged on the home front. And they need to learn those courtesies of, say, what a an old-fashioned British nanny would teach you. And um, it's so exciting. I, I love it. It's just, ooh, that's brilliant. And, and, um, except that the post office, somewhere in London, had stamped all over her name. But I was able to work out from the clues who it was. And, uh, oh, another one. He's, um, he's now working in Tesco's. And his mum, when she told me, said, oh, I'm afraid he's only working in Tesco's. What's wrong with that? They, you know, they've got have good con terms and conditions. Their loyalty schemes are very generous. Um, 
it's honest work. There are things to be ashamed of in this world. Honest work is not one of them. I am proud of him and I'm proud of him. I'd still be proud of him if he'd gone to Borstal, you know that. But um, no, stay there, make a career. And also, have you ever chatted to the people in Tesco? Of course you have. Um, they have a life. They go to the job. They earn their money to live doing something else. It's not like they live through their work and they find the laughs where they are. Um, so no, good on him. Well done. Uh, people have been coming up with ideas. Thank you for bead and work. Keep them coming in. Keep them coming in. He's very open to anything. And at long last, we're having people say, yeah, I love my job, which is nice. Um, it sort of innovates you a bit because it was getting a bit, everyone was saying, no, don't do it. So thank you for your enthusiasm, everyone. Anybody else that loves their job, please let us know and tell us. Just tell us. Well, I think that's about it. Um, we're 11 plus wise, we're only dotting the I's and crossing the T's. Um, go all out for it. Everything to gain, nothing to lose. Bye-bye.